Hello everyone, today I'll be teaching you how to install VSC in case the Visual Studio Code that you've installed is not up and running. Let's try to open this one. The current version for Visual Studio Code in here is 1.72. That's the latest version for now. So as you can see, even though I run it as administrator or I just open it normally, it doesn't open. Probably because the reason for that one is that I'm using a version that's not supporting my operating system. Or probably I could have installed a VSC that is not compatible with my operating system. System. So to fix that one, we're just going to have to install the appropriate VSC so that we could use it. The first things first is we're going to uninstall our VSC. Let's go to our control panel and let's go to programs and features and let's find VSC. And we found it and let's just uninstall this one and this is going to completely install our Visual Studio Code. And as you can see, successfully removed from my computer click ok so it's in here the vs code desktop version starting with 1.71 will no longer run on windows 7 as i've said the version that i've installed is 1.72 that's the latest version that's why it doesn't open so we're just gonna have to use a downgraded version lower than 1.71 that's 1.70 so i'm just gonna put the link on the description below let's click download and it's gonna download the uh, visual studio code 1.70 right away so now that we're done, we're just going to open this one, click run, and I guess that's pretty much it. So it does say in here that this user installer is not meant to be run as administrator it's because I'm on admin. And this is used for users and not system. So let's just, let's just click OK and accept the agreement. Click next. And in here you could just like put it in whatever you want. And it has a prompt in here that the Microsoft VS Code already exists because of the past version, the latest one that I've installed. So just click, pay no mind on that one, just click yes next and create a desktop icon so you could click the uh, add with open code etc etc but I, I don't want to I recommend that you do though and click next And that's pretty much it. When I click finish, it's gonna open Visual Studio Code. As you can see in here, we have our VSC and we could now start working on whatever you wanna work on. That's pretty much it and I hope you learned something in this tutorial. Thank you very much.